What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today I want to talk to you guys about the coronavirus and some car shows that are coming up. Now I know you guys, if you're watching the news or watching any kind of Facebook or anything, all you're hearing about right now is the coronavirus. So don't click off this video if you're just tired of hearing about it because I'm going to talk about some things that really aren't being talked about and more of the car aspect and the car culture and the car world, how it's going to affect it and some cancellations that I've already seen. And we're going to talk about a show I'll be coming up in in the near future and I'm wondering if it's going to be canceled or not. I planned on taking the 180. I actually already got approved for Import Alliance to be in the showcase and GTO is also still here but I'm going to put you guys down on the GTO and we're going to talk for a minute. It's a little bit rainy right now. You guys are right outside the garage. So hopefully no raindrops come down on the lens but I wanted to talk about the coronavirus a little bit today. I've been seeing a lot of stuff you know obviously in the news and on Facebook and I don't want to get into the political side of anything because I know a lot of people are bringing politics into it and it's really annoying. That's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about car shows and things like that that are coming up. For example there's lots of cancellations already happening. Happening. I've seen that we have an event here in South Carolina. We have the Michelin headquarters right here in Spartanburg, South Carolina. It might be Greenville, I'm not sure the address, but they are here in South Carolina in the upstate and they hold Cars and Coffee. It's always huge here. Cars and Coffee has already been canceled this month for the month of March and that is on March 28th, but it's been moved to like April something now. And they were also supposed to have a big event next weekend, Radwood. It's this, I guess this big 80s and 90s event that travels across parts of the country and you bring your 80s and 90s cars, dress up in 80s and 90s apparel, but that has been canceled as well. So it's already affecting a lot of car shows here locally and I'm really wondering you see a lot of these other states shutting down, you know, gatherings of more than X amount of people and things like that. Now, I want you guys to know that the current, like in my opinion, obviously I'm no medical professional at all. I'm gonna touch my face right now and scratch my nose and hopefully not transmit the coronavirus to myself. But it's no big deal for people our age. If you have no health issues, like for somebody in their 20s, 30s, 40s, you know, it's not a big deal at all. What it does affect is obviously the old people and I get that. And you know, they're canceling Major League Baseball, which I'm super upset about. Baseball is my favorite sport and I hate to see it getting canceled. And a lot of these car meets I hate to see, these car shows getting canceled. But I do think it's potentially somewhat the right thing to do because while we might get sick from the coronavirus and not die or have any kind of serious illness from it, our loved ones, you know, our old people, our, our grandparents, if you have older parents, things like that, can definitely seriously be affected and I get that and I can kind of see where some of these organizations are canceling and being, taking the extra precautions, I guess, to make sure that nothing spreads at their event because I've seen a lot of things in the news too where people have talked about suing different organizations, you know, from getting sick at their events. And for some of these small car shows and things like that, I mean, that would ruin them. Now, one I did want to specifically kind of talk about for a minute was Import Alliance. Import Alliance is coming up March 28th and 29th. And like I said, I have the 180 here already approved. I've already paid for my spot in the showcase and I'm really looking forward to it. I have some stickers made. I was going to pass out some stickers down there to anybody who recognized me from YouTube. But as of right now, it's still not canceled. As of right now, it's still a go. I was looking on their Instagram earlier, right before I made this video and they had posted an Instagram story saying, you know, it's still all a go, blah, blah, blah. And I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I would like to know what you guys think in the comments about Import Alliance still being a go. Obviously, Import Alliance isn't a huge organization like MLB or, for example, NASCAR. I believe it's this weekend in Atlanta Motor Speedway where Import Alliance is being held in Atlanta Motor Speedway. NASCAR has their races this weekend, but they are not letting any fans in. They're running the races without fans, only crews, drivers, and maybe family. And that's happening at the exact same spot that Import Alliance is happening at. So it kind of makes me wonder, like, I don't know, would it be a good idea? Because there's a lot more cases down in Georgia than there are here in South Carolina. And I'm sure there's more to come, obviously. I don't know. I want to know kind of what your opinion is on that. I think potentially it's, you know, I don't know, I don't know if I want to say dangerous to keep the meat going, the show going. Uh, like I said, I, it's not a big deal for people like us, even if we were to go there and get sick and spread the disease between each other, or the uh, virus, not the disease. If we were to spread the virus between each other, it's not that big of a deal, but say we go home to our, our family Sunday night and have a family dinner with, you know, the whole family or something, and you infect your your grandparents, your older parents, something like that, it could be a big deal. Now, I mean, I think Import Alliance is probably looking at this because they're not a big organization like NASCAR or Major League Baseball or the NBA. If they postpone this event, I mean, that's a huge money maker for them. I'm pretty sure Atlanta is their biggest event. They have a few other events throughout the Southeast. If you're not from around here, you might not know what Import Alliance is, but it's huge here in the Southeast. Atlanta, I'm pretty sure, is their biggest event and their big money maker. So if they were to cancel that, I mean, that's a lot of money down the drain for them. So I get why they're holding off, but I also think it could be a little bit dangerous. Now, I'm not, you know, falling into this media trap, this mass hysteria, this big pandemic worry. We bring politics into this stuff all the time. You see people like, oh, well, you know, the left's just trying to, it's, it's another way to get Trump out of office, and the right's just like, oh, this is, 
you know, they're just trying to trump Trump and blah, blah, blah. And I mean, I don't think that's any of it. It's a serious issue, obviously. The virus is a serious issue that's spreading. It is killing older people and people with underlying health issues. It's obviously not something you should go out and buy all the toilet paper. I don't get that. I don't understand that whatsoever. Toilet paper is not going to fix your coronavirus problem. And I don't even think diarrhea is a a serious symptom of the coronavirus, which is just weird that everybody's buying all the toilet paper. But what the media is doing is obviously trying to sell you something, basically. Not trying to sell you the vaccine, not trying to sell you, you know, toilet paper. They are trying to sell views. The more they can fear people and bring fear into the community, the more people that are gonna stick glued to the TV. I know so many people glued to Fox, glued to CNN right now about the coronavirus, and those are views. Views are making them money, just like a YouTube video. Views are making these TV broadcasting agencies, these news agencies, tons of money. So if they can bring something that's gonna scare you, they're gonna play that all day. So I don't think it's so much political as it is just news trying to make money. You know, people are blaming the media for all this and saying it's all a political thing, but I think it's more of just a make money type of thing off of your views. So I'm not really scared of the coronavirus for myself or my immediate family right here, but Obviously for old people and everything, it could be an issue. So I do understand why baseball has canceled, at least postponed the first two weeks of the season, canceled spring training, NBA canceling the season or the rest of the games and the March Madness stuff, blah, blah, blah. NASCAR for at least two races, no fans for Atlanta Motor Speedway and I think Homestead in Miami. I mean, I understand it and I just wonder where it's gonna go with car shows for this season because obviously it's car show season starting up right about this time. We got all the big car shows coming up and I already see a lot of events postponing and canceling. And I just wonder, Import Alliance, like what's gonna go on with that? I, I hope they make a decision soon and stick to that decision. Like today they posted on their Instagram story, like I said, that it's still happening. But I mean, I don't think it's gonna get any better over the next two weeks. I think it's just gonna get worse at least for the next two weeks. Once it warms up, the virus might die off, but for the most part, it's not gonna get any better. So I would hate for them to wait around until like the day before and then decide to cancel. That would be quite annoying of them to do. So we'll see what happens with Import Alliance. If you guys, any of you viewers are from Import Alliance, the Import Alliance team, you know, you can feel free to comment below and kind of give some insight on what the plans are for that. If you guys are just planning to attend Import Alliance, let me know what you think. Is the coronavirus affecting you? Is it affecting your idea to attend Import Alliance? Uh, for me right now, I don't think so. Even if Import Alliance still happens, I don't think I'm gonna be worried about going or anything. I'll just take a few extra precautions, take a bottle of hand sanitizer with me, maybe not shake everybody's hand that I meet, maybe just do a couple little elbow bumps and pass you a sticker, but I'm still really looking forward to it. I still hope it happens, but I can also see if they decide to cancel it where it could be an okay idea to do so. Now, if Import Alliance is still a go, hopefully it does not scare many of you away because of the coronavirus. I would love to see some of you subscribers out in Atlanta at Atlanta Motor Speedway, March 28th, and 29th. Like I said, I will have a few stickers to hand out for the first few people that recognize me from YouTube. And the beautiful 180 will be there, barring it selling in the next two weeks. But even if somebody's interested in buying, I think I'll wait till after Import Alliance. Now, I think the coronavirus is just a giant clickbait in itself. So don't be scared of the coronavirus. Just take proper precautions, wash your hands, cover your mouth, the normal stuff, and you'll be fine if you're of decent age. And tomorrow, as long as it's, I don't care if it's canceled, I'll be out of Easley Cars and Coffee tomorrow. Go to Easley Cars and Coffee on Facebook, check it out. There's a Cars and Coffee. It's usually pretty small and easily, but I'll be out there tomorrow at 8, 9 o'clock. Either in the GTO, if the roads are still a little bit damp like they are right now, or if everything's dried up, I'll clean up the 180 and I'll be out there in the 180. I just prefer not to drive this one if the roads are wet or if it's rainy. The GTO, I love just as much, but it's kind of the only other car I have to drive at the moment. I know I've talked about making some more neon videos, some more SRT4 content, but unfortunately that's Megan's daily driver at the moment. This past weekend, there were some douchebags who decided to punch the mirror off of my wife's Jeep while she was in traffic. It was a group of dumbass bikers, sorry my language, but you know, I'm all for look twice, save a life. I'm all for riding bikes if you wanna ride motorcycles, crotch rockets, Harleys, whatever. But these guys are a notorious group of idiots that ride around here doing 100 plus down 35 mile per hour streets, cutting in and out of traffic. And my wife tried to merge while they were doing 100 plus and they got pissed so they punched the mirror off and took off. Police reports been filed, all that. Look on my Facebook page if you haven't. On my Your Car Bro Facebook page, there's a post that I made trying to look for these bikers and it's got over a thousand shares. 
a bunch of people freaking out on it, talking crap on both sides of the story. It's kind of funny, really, but Megan was really upset when it happened, and it pissed me off. I went out looking for the dudes. Couldn't find them that day. Made the post. I know who it is. I filed a police report, but it's all in the police hands now. We'll see what happens. So that's why, right now, no SRT content is coming out because she's driving the SRT every day, and all I'm stuck with is a Jeep that has a bad side view mirror that I have to replace and the two right-hand drive cars. Another quick update, I was bidding on a car last night, actually. It was at around 2 a.m. U.S. Eastern Coast time. I had the guys over in Japan at Garage Defend bidding on a car for me. It was a 94 Toyota Land Cruiser Prado. It was the turbo diesel engine, leather interior, absolutely beautiful. It had around, I think, 260,000 kilometers, which for a diesel isn't much because that's only like 166,000 miles. And I figured because of that, you know, it would be a little bit cheaper. It was really clean. It had like a 3.5 exterior B interior rating. That thing went for so much more than I thought it would. Let me tell you, I can't tell you exactly what it went for because it's auction prices and we're not supposed to talk about that. It's against the auction rules. I wish I could tell you, but just let me say that I was ready to pay about, about $9,500 for that Land Cruiser Prado, but man it went significantly more than that very surprised with the mileage it had but it was super clean so i'm guessing that's why so i will continue the hunt for something to replace the delica if you guys have any suggestions you can post those below but i'm mostly looking for something four-wheel drive preferably turbo diesel but doesn't have to be could be automatic or manual transmission i'm not too picky on that part just looking for something that is sort of like the delica or maybe even another delica to replace it with because those cars do really well in this area of south carolina but i'm about to get out of here and go meet jesse for lunch and this dirty girl once these roads dry up, I guess this afternoon I'll probably wash both of these just in case the weather is good or if the weather is bad, I'll drive this. We'll do a quick start up on the GTO. I can't remember if you guys have heard it or not on YouTube. I know I posted an Instagram video, but I did take the silencer out of the exhaust. The GTO is a little bit louder now. Do a quick start up. It's still not crazy loud because it does still have the cats on it, but it is definitely louder than it was. It should still be warm too because I just drove it not too long ago. <laughs> Still pretty conservative. We'll do a couple quick revs, make sure it is warmed up. Yeah, it's pretty warmed up. I'm telling you guys, this thing's a blast to drive. I had a lot of fun driving it down to the Columbia Car Meets Meet the other night and on the way back, significantly more fun running with some of those guys. It was funny. I posted on, or somebody posted on Facebook, who was that Corvette with the shooting flames on the way back revving up? And I was like, yeah, I saw that one. And I posted a picture of the GTO. And I was like, oh yeah, I saw the GTO, man. I saw you roll up on me. I was excited. It was pretty funny, but I'm gonna head out of here. So point of this video, Coronavirus is obviously gonna affect some car meets coming up, some car shows coming up. I don't think it's that big of a deal, obviously for people our age, but I do see where it's a good idea to possibly limit the potential of contamination between people our age and big events like that, especially Import Alliance. Import Alliance is like people, normally it's you know people crammed into the infield of Atlanta Motor Speedway, and you can definitely rub up against people a lot in there. So I could see it being a good idea to potentially maybe postpone Import Alliance. But like I said, Import Alliance isn't as big as some of these, you know, major league teams and these NASCAR people. So I could see if they decide not to cancel it so they can make the money off the event. Obviously, yeah, it makes sense to me. But anyways, I hope to see some of you guys there if it's not canceled. I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, thanks for watching. Yeah.